This is News Today. Sorted cup. A gold shop customer was shot and killed during a robbery at the Tesco Lotus Shopping Mall on Phuket's Bypass Road about 7pm on Monday. Extraordinary security video shows the helmeted robber walking into the CP gold shop in the mall and walking behind the counter. When a customer approached him, the robber shot the customer in the chest. The robber then tried to shoot the fallen man a second time, but his gun misfired. The shot man later died in hospital. He was 32-year-old Pitjet Chukyang, a bartender from Patong. The robber got away with gold worth more than 2 million baht. A proposal to extend bar opening hours of bars until 4am has won support from bar owners in Patong. Police in Bangkok have proposed zoning certain entertainment areas where bars and nightclubs could stay open later than the usual 1am, whilst ensuring that the white zones are free from any drugs and weapons. A spokesperson for the group of Patong bar owners said later opening hours would better suit the habits of many tourists and said later closing would raise tax revenue for the government, which was better than the illegal bribes that some bar owners were paying now to stay open, allegedly. And if you're out late at the bar, you'll have to think about getting home. And for most islanders, if you want to take a public bus anywhere on the island, then you're out of luck. The island authorities say they're pushing ahead with their plans to introduce a bus service through the Patong, Karon and Carter Beach areas, despite opposition from a militant group of tuk-tuk and taxi drivers in the area. About 200 drivers met to oppose the plan last week, but that's prompted the idea of a public meeting in the near future, where everyone can have a say about the new bus service, including expats and tourists. A Tenrai patch of forest reserve in the hills near Katu waterfall has been cut down illegally, say island authorities. Officials from Katu district were called to the Puwa Hill area on Saturday after local people reported trees being cut. They found a worker clearing a two-rye patch of land in the forest with a backhoe and an eight-rye patch of land further up the hill that had already been cleared. The officials found several logs of valuable aromatic agar wood at the site, which could be worth millions of baht. Chinese tourists are having trouble with some motorbike or rental companies on the island, according to the Chinese Vice Consul. At least three different Chinese tourists recently reported being charged excessive fees for minor or non-existent damage when the bikes are returned. If they don't pay, they're told they don't get their passport back. It's a popular scam in Phuket, particularly with rental motorbikes and jet skis. But Phuket's police say that if anyone has problems, they should call the tourist police hotline by dialing 1155 to speak to an officer who could help with negotiations. Good luck. And thanks to the people that have responded to our polls over the last week. Yesterday we asked if you were worried about the latest bird flu outbreak in China getting to Phuket. The most popular responses, not worried yet, but watching the news just in case. And Phuket International Airport should start screening arrivals from China. Also the question, what would you suggest to reduce the annual Songkran road carnage? The most popular response was to return Songkran to the original Thai values, pouring water nicely over one another. Yeah, like that's going to happen. Keep checking out the Facebook page, tell your friends and join the conversation. Now for a local event preview over the next few weeks, here's Sash. Swadirap, it's going to be Songkran soon and the time of the year get wet. There's going to be an awesome Songkran Bonanza at Bliss Beach Club on April 13th for the Be My Hai Hap. This year's annual Phuket Pride Week is coming up and will begin on April 24 and carries on through to April 28th with a two-night weekend entertainment extravaganza organized by Legend Music. And the Grand Parade is going to be held on Saturday, April 27th. For more information, visit phuket-pride.org. And don't forget the monthly pub quiz held at the Aussie Pub. And the next one's going to be due on April 29th. Swati up. Hi, I'm Kirsty Meyer and I read the news in the afternoons on Live 89.5 and we cover your local, national and international news. Kirsty Meyer, bringing the island's news to you Mondays to Fridays on Phuket's Live 89.5. You're watching Phuket's News TV. Watch us on KPP Cable TV Channel 1 every day at 7 and 11pm. Also log on to the PhuketNews.com, click TV and watch any of our programs where you want and when you want.